This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. We're going to investigate and modify, run the program, and observe the results. Don't have to tell me twice. Ooh, painting things? Okay. Vending video total length is one second. Well, that was a really quick video. All right. Then experiment with the program by making the following modifications. Change one line at a time. Then run the program after each change to observe the results. Look at the bright image class. Okay. What class does it extend? It looks like it extends the image class. Access Docs and Tips tab. And guys, you should use this often. I even forget to do it sometimes. Documents. And find the document for image class in org.code.media package. What methods does this have? Documentation or dot media image. Cool. Okay, I'm going to just... Uh, so what methods do we got? Well, we have tip, we have types, pixel, int, int, static, final, int, methods, image. So we have a met image, we have a get pixel, we have a set pixel, get width, get height, and clear. Method details. Oh, and this tells us about them. All right. That looks good. So now in brighton.image, what is the purpose of line 11? Hmm. Get pixels. What happens if you change? Well, let's look at my documentation again. And of course, it makes me go back. Get pixel gets the pixel object at a specified XY coordinate. Interesting. So it must give us some detail about that particular pixel. Oh, and it returns pixel. And what's a pixel here? I just did a control F. And a pixel is an object within this class. Oh, a pixel is a 2D array. Okay. So what happens if you change this line to line 11? Okay, I'm just going to copy this so I don't mess it. Well, it didn't like that. Well, that's kind of lame, but okay. Look at the uh, in bright. Oh, we did that. Look at the get pixel method. Why do you think temp pixels array is initialized with get height? Mm, let me change this back first. I'm going to hit control Z just because it don't. Okay. Um, temp pixels is initialized with. Oh, here's the initialization, of course. Why? Because they want it to be the same size as uh, what we already have, I guess, because we're going to be using it. So what happens if you change these values? Um, okay, six and oh, let's just try changing this. Six and I don't know, 11. Hmm. And okay, not much. Oh, you see the top corner here? That must have gone outside of it. Oh, it makes a box up there. Interesting. Okay. What is the purpose of line 23? Why do you think get pixel row instead of get pixel? What happens if you switch these? Line 20. Okay, let's switch them. Ah, interesting. It just flips that shape we made. Look at bright colors method. What do you think the purpose of line 33 is? What do you, what would need to change if this line was not there? Uh, line 33 copies or initializes, uh, this current pixel with the whatever value is in, in image pixel, uh, but it does it by row or column. So wh what would need to change if that line wasn't there, you would need to set this to something because this wouldn't have any value. So it would it would break it all if this wasn't there. You could do something like individually, something like this, and replace it all the way down, referencing it in that way. That could change. That would work. Interesting question. What do you think would happen if you subtract the amount from the current color values? I don't know. Let's find out. I bet it changes color. Uh, what would it do? Get darker? I don't know. I, I didn't see anything. Let's do that. Oh, okay, it's changing it up here. I should mention I'm red-green colorblind. Probably impacts the students, but cool. All right, I'm excited to see what we're going to be doing with all of this. Onward.